Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 32 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to create your own data structures in C. So basically what a data structure is, is it's a collection of different types in one sort of heading. And it's a nice way to create um, all of these types by just declaring one thing. And um, you'll understand what I mean by the time we're done this tutorial. So now, all I want you to do to start out is create a header file, and I showed you how to do this a few tutorials ago. So once you've created that, go into it, and uh, you can create this heading like I did here if you want. You can do whatever you want. Um, but anyway, this is how you actually create um, the data structures in C. So we start out with the keyword struct, and then we have to give the struct that we're creating uh, basically a name that it can be identified by because we can create as many structs as we want. Um, we could have, yeah, as many structs as we want. So we have to have a way of identifying which struct we are uh, referring to. So our struct is gonna be struct hockey player. And I can't spell hockey player. So now uh, we can give the struct all these different details that we want to include. So we can include characters, ints, floats, anything that we want inside this struct. So now all I have to do is start declaring things inside of it. So inside this collection of things for a hockey player, basically we're, we want to describe what a hockey player does or is. So uh, let's say we can have a shirt number and we could have um, a rank. Basically these are all just different things that describe what a hockey player is or different things that uh, apply to a hockey player. So when you create a new struct, it, it creates everything that's inside of it. So it's one declaration instead of creating all these separate ints. And you'll see what I mean when we're done. So now all I have to do is end this off by putting a semicolon at the end because we are declaring a new struct. So now once we're done that, we go back to our main.c file. And once we've included our um, header file that we just made, um, now we can create the struct that we just um, basically created in this header file. So we just have to say struct and now we say hockey player because that is the type that we uh, created in our header file. Again because we can create uh, many different structs and this is just one of them. So we have to identify which one we're actually using. So struct hockey player and now we have to give a name, uh, basically an identifier that we can use inside our program uh, instead of, because we can create as many hockey player structs as we want. So we're just going to call this one Bob. So now when we want to assign Bob all these different things, Bob now contains both shirt number and rank. So all we have to do to assign these values is we just say Bob and then we use the dot operator basically to dig into the struct and find the different values inside of it. So we say Bob dot shirt number and then we can just say he gets 20 and then Bob dot rank and we'll say he's rank fifth. So that's uh, the way that you just declare each of the values or initialize each of the values. And again, we created one struct hockey player and we gave him the name Bob. And Bob is going to have all the information that was inside our hockey player struct. So, so far that's quite simple. And now, if we want to print this information out, we just create a printf and say Bob's number is, and then we use our percent, or sorry, our format specifier for. Um, I said percent and then I did ampersand. Percent D for our format specifier and an int. So Bob's number is blank and he is ranked uh, percent D again for an integer. And then we'll end it with uh, th for fifth. So now we just put in our information like we've always done before. We just say Bob.shirt number and Bob.rank. And now let's go ahead, build and run this and we should have no problems. There we go. So Bob's number is 20 and he is ranked fifth. So that's how you can work with structs in C. And it's a very basic introduction. Um, there are many different ways and I'm going to show you many different ways that you can use structs. Um, this is not exactly always a common way to use it, but 
Um, this is just an introduction to how they work. So again, you create a struct in your header file, or you could create it in your main.c file, but generally you can just make them in the header files to make it a little more clear. So we've created it in the header file, and basically we can put all the information that we want inside of it, anything from ints, characters, floats, etc. And then when we want to create it, we just use struct and then the identifier or the tag that we're uh, defining because again we can have as many structs as we want and then we just have to give it a name that we can identify it by in this case we use Bob so again we just use Bob dot uh, and use the dot operator to go into the struct and the struct is two different values that we can assign either shirt number or rank and then we assign those values and then print them out so it's a fairly basic introduction to structs and there'll be many more tutorials to come on uh, structs and many more topics. Uh, please just subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or comments please leave your comments below or questions below or send me a message if you have any more questions and uh, feel free to leave any suggestions on the channel as well. Alright, more tutorials are on the way.